guys, so today's look is this makeup tutorial right here. I just said that wrong. You get what I mean. It's these deep garnet eyes using the Lorac Pro Palette and a nice bold matte red lip. So let's get started. I'm first going to prime my face with my Natural Glamour Primer. Surprise, surprise. And I am doing my base today because I'm using a few different sh shades of foundation. As you'll see now, I'm taking my NARS Sheer Glow. This one's Fiji and I'm dotting that in the center of my face. Then going in with Barcelona and putting that on the outer perimeters of my face. And then I take the shade Tahoe, I think it's called, I'll link it down below. And I'm putting that where I would contour. So I'm giving myself some nice different gradients of color to add like a nice effect and make my skin not so one dimensional. So as you can see, I'm just pretty much patting that all in with my damp Real Techniques sponge. I'm starting off with the lighter colors and then blending out into the darker colors so that I don't get any of that darkness in the center of my face. I want it to all stay on the outer perimeters of my face. And as you can see when I'm doing the contour shade, I'm sort of keeping it in that area to add to the whole contour effect. Then I'm moving on to my eyes, so I'm just priming my eyelids for my eyeshadows, just using Max Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm spreading that all over my eyelids as normal. Then today I'm going to use these shadow shields because I wanted a nice crisp line, and because I've done my base first, I didn't want any fallout. So I'm taking my Lorac Pro Palette and I'm taking the shade Taupe on a blending brush, and I'm just messily blending that all over the crease and down onto the lid. Then I'm going to take the shade Espresso and I'm just using the same blending brush and I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner. As you can see I picked up a bit too much product so I just blend it out onto the other eye. But this is being focused in the outer corner and I'm bringing it right onto that shadow shield so that I have a nice crisp line when I remove it. So just taking my time to blend that shade out and it can be a little bit messy but here I've just got a clean blending brush so that everything stays neat and tidy. And a great tip for when your eyeshadow can look a little bit messy, just take a nice light and matte shade, like I'm taking this cream shade, and I'm just using it to sort of blend where my eyeshadow ends near my brow bone. Then I'm taking the shade Garnet, and this is the star of the show, picking that up on a flat shader brush, and I'm blending that all the way up into the crease, and I'm really packing that shade on because I just wanted it to stand out nicely. Then of course just taking my blending brush and making sure all my browns and my red is all mixed together and then I'm going to take the black shade and on a small precise sort of pencil -y brush I'm just focusing that in the very outer corner and then of course buffing it out with my blending brush. As you can see, I sort of do not take this in very far. It's just really focusing on the outer corner just to add a nice sort of cat eye definition kind of effect. Real technical, right? Then I just take my finger and I'm using more of the Garnet shade and I'm just packing it on just to make sure the intensity is still there and still looks nice. So then I remove my shadow shields and then I just take a little bit more of the taupe shade just to buff out that black shade so that everything's a bit softer. Then I'm just using a black eyeliner to tight line and then I'm going to line my upper lash line just vessely and then I'm going to smudge it out with a smudgy brush. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes and I'm going to apply a couple of coats of mascara. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Butterfly Wings Lash Effect Mascara, that's the wrong name. And then I do pop on some false lashes off camera and I'll link down below which ones they are. Then back onto my face I'm using my MAC Conceal and Correct palette and I'm using the NW20 shade just to buff that under my eyes and as you can see it's a fair bit lighter than my face so I'm really using that as a highlight 
as well as covering my under eye circles. Then I take a bit of the NC20 shade and I'm using that to conceal and sort of highlight the rest of my face through the center. Just because this shade's a little bit more yellow so it matches more with my skin tone. And then I just go in with my sponge with no product on it and just blend everything out nicely. Then to set my concealer I'm using my MAC MSF in Light Plus and I'm just going to set that through the center of my face. For my contour, I'm using Benefit Hula and I'm using my contour brush by Real Techniques. I'm just picking up a little bit of the product and then buffing it into the hollows of my cheeks. And I've gotten really into using this brush again for contouring. I think it just does the most awesome job. Such a multitasking brush. But then I just take some around my hairline as well just to sculpt out the face and warm everything up. And of course a little bit underneath my chin. Then I just take a bigger brush, it's a blush brush from Nude by Nature and I just pick up a little bit more of the product and I'm blending that onto my cheeks just to give myself more of a bronzed look because I found myself looking a little bit too pale. For blush I'm using this model's preferred one which I think is discontinued, I shouldn't really use it but I love it too much and I'm just using a light layer of that, it's a beautiful glowy blush so it adds nice luminosity to the face. But for even more luminosity, I'm using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. So just on a duo fiber brush, look at how much product I accidentally applied. Oh my god. So I just take my sponge with nothing on it and I'm just making sure that's nice and blended out so I don't have a stark white highlight going on. And then I just highlight the Cupid's bow and then a little bit on the tip of my nose. Been getting that from Nikki Tutorials and down the bridge and just anywhere else I feel I need a bit of highlight. Back to my eyes, I'm taking more of the Garnet shade on a flat brush and I'm just buffing that underneath my eyes. And you can take this as low and smoky as you wanted. I did it like semi-smoky, but if you want it darker, go for it. Then I just take more of the Espresso shade and just put that into the outer third of my under eyes and then I take a blending brush to blend the colors together. I wanted to keep the waterline light so I just took this nude pencil by Rimmel and I'm just lining my waterline. This just helps open the eyes up a little bit more and opposed to using a, a black eyeliner, it yeah opens the eyes more than it closes them. Then I just apply some mascara to my bottom eyelashes and then onto lips. I'm lining my lips with a red lip pencil from Max Factor. I really need to get a different lip pencil because this is like the only red I have. It's a bit embarrassing, really. And for my lip colour, I'm using this absolutely amazing soft matte lip cream from NYX. It's called Morocco. And these are absolutely incredible, guys. Like, look how easy that is to apply. I, I'm, I was astonished by these. And it lasts, like, so long. It's amazing. So... After you have applied the lipstick, you are all finished. So I hope you guys liked this look. Please let me know what you think down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.